Sup YouTube viewers, it's me Katie's Jub Jub again and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to hide files if you're like at a, a party or whatever and you have an embarrassing file you want people seeing it in your regular finder view here's your little solution so all you have to do is open up your file so in this case it's I ate my cat which guys it's not true and so well here now Here's my file right here. I'll double click it, open it up. You see it's a real file. There's actually some words on it. And um, I'm going to open up a terminal window. And here I'm going to type in. There we go. Um, MV space. Um, you drag in the folder, so you drag in your document to your terminal window, and then if you see here, it says .tet. That's the vid the file format, and you're going to have to remember that or whatever your format is for what file you use, and then you're going to do .dot um, cat or you can do .dot anything .dot hidden .dot whatever. Press enter. If you see here. It's not there. So, that's okay. That's what you want. And to show you that the file's still there, you can type in ls space um, dash a. And if you see here, dot cat is right, right there. Okay, so it's still there. So, to get it back, you're simply going to type in mv space dot cat, or whatever you called it. And then you're going to want to type in this sign. I really don't know what it's called. This sign, so shift that sign. And then you're going to want to rename it. I'll just call it I ate my cat again. Ate my cat. Now this is where this comes in handy. The dot T-E-T. -E -T. You're going to want to make sure you write that. And then that sign again. Press enter. You see here? It's back here. I ate my cat. If I open it up, the file is still there. Perfect condition. Nothing happened to it. So, thank you guys for watching this YouTube video. I hope this helps. Uh, subscribe and leave comments. And, yep, thanks. I hope you guys can find this useful. And, see ya.